It is the Denny J Show. That sounds beautiful. Thank you. Thank that sounds you. beautiful. Real people. Much. Real people, Becky. Real people. Yes, clapping. I like this. I like this. This is beautiful. We must yes. do it often. It Special it shout out to DJ Rex. Yes, who we'll made the things happen. Pablo's. Yes. Because, you know, today we are in an uptown city. We are at Pablo's. Courtesy of Pablo's Nightclub. We're at the yes. deck. And uh, Bako Media is going to show you a, a few more uh, images of, this, of the place, beautiful place. Mm -hmm. And you can also do like private functions here, right, Rex? Yeah. But they showed us love, and then uh, the biggest podcast is shooting straight out of Sam Levy's village, Pablo's. Awesome That's stuff. beautiful, guys. Yeah. Speaking of uh, podcasts, we've got guests all the way from Zambia. Yeah. You want to yeah. tell us who's here? Our guy, our guy, Elson from That Z Podcast. Uh, what's up, Elson? Good, good, man. Nice to have you. Uh, yeah, he hit me up and he said, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm around, uh, I'm coming through, which is great. These guys have the biggest podcast in Zambia. It's called That Z Podcast. You yeah. guys need to go check it out and uh, subscribe, like, yeah. turn there on notifications. There was, a, there was an episode that I watched uh, from their podcast. They were speaking to some lady who had just come from prison. Do you remember that one? My gosh. Yeah. And I was like, when we get a guest who is that raw, yeah. I will hide under the table. Me. Right. Under. Like Who's raw? Oh. More raw than this guy? Okay. I'll, t I'll, <laughs> uh, I'll tell you the uh, yeah. I'll tell you the craziest thing that came from the podcast is two days after um, that aid, yeah. the Minister of Justice called us. Mm -hmm. uh, and he said trouble, right? say again, No, 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 but he wanted to tell his side of the story because she made a lot of claims about how horrible the prisons were. Yeah. I believed her. So, so he, he wanted to clarify and say the prisons are nice. <laughs> yep. Can you or in quotes. How do you clarify <laughs> Essentially. the prisons are nice? But you know how politicians are. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. man. I oh. felt for that woman. I was like, mm. I need to watch that one. I don't watch ah. that one. Yeah. Proceed with caution. Yeah, great. And you guys are also nominated for that award. Tell us a little bit about that one. Um, yeah, we are. Um, I don't know why, but we accepted it. So we are, I forget the name of the actual... Yeah. Maybe you can check it out. It's out of Nigeria. We are nominated under the Lifestyle and Entertainment. Yeah. Um, we are, it's crazy. We are up against Gareth Cliff, uh, Cliff Central, yeah. in SA, and a couple of other huge awards. They just no, they just nominated just us. Those are the good ones. You don't need to submit stuff. You don't need to submit stuff. Yeah, if you submit it. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's beautiful. A nice one. Well done. Nice one, guys. Great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice one. Yeah. Uh, and I was also talking about uh, Lex and uh, Answer. Okay, we have uh, our friends of the podcast, mm -hmm. DJ Le Lex. He's based in Dallas. Uh, they go as Lex and Answer. They're nominated for the Afrima Best African DJ in America right. Award. So uh, let's go support them. Uh, we'll put a link in the um, in the comment section. Right? right. Yeah. Let's support. Let's support our people doing big things uh, all over the world. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Awesome stuff. All right, uh, you're back from England. Yes, yes, darling. I'm back from London. It was absolutely amazing. Yeah, we saw. You <laughs> held it down, right? That was like Ooh, a, a major it was concert. Fire. It was fire. The, the place was packed. Like every Zimbabwean possible yeah. turned out for that event. It was, it was really nice. And then you, we also had other nationalities that came through. You had Kenyans, Nigerians, Congolese yeah. that came through for that Afri Praise concert. And, and did you come across any Danny J show? Oh, videos? yes. So there was this one guy right after the show, literally imitates me mm -hmm. on the show. And I was like, but I'm <laughs> mm. You made quite a few? Yeah, I made, I made quite a few. Um, and they were, they were quite happy about it and, you know, making noise about, please don't end at episode 50 right. because you guys are the entertainment, you know, when we're this side. We, you, you guys connect us to what is happening. So episode 50, episode 50, and then you come back. Okay. Yeah. All right, okay. But yeah, it was a cool vibe. It's beautiful. The weather was nice. So nice. Yeah. And then you had to wear your sweater even though it's hot. It's not that hot. It's not, it's 
Hey, 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 hey. You know, you know, Becky. Uh, I have a vest inside of a gown. I have no, I have like a vest inside, you know, just like uh, oh, we want to see the vest. Becky. And it's Barbie yeah. season, and you know, Barbie fever, you know. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, Nash, Nash, Nash. I wonder why I'm not a t-shirt in Rilanda. No, I swear that. No, I got it by so good because I'm going to piece it. What was on sale? The, the, the sweater. Yeah. Five pounds. Yeah. Uh, how much? How much was that? Five pounds? No, no, no. This was... Three dollars fifty. No, no, no. No, no, no. This was twenty-nine pounds. Ah, sorry, sorry. But never mind. Never mind. It was twenty-nine pounds. Right there by the Big Ben. Where they sell, like, the trinkets and everything. Don't you know that place? Thank you, Kay. By the Big Ben. It's, it's not actually called the Big Ben, hey. It's called the Queen's Tower. But okay. because, you know, Big Bang Clock, that's how we grew up. Yeah, yeah, let me school you. It's called the Queen's Tower. She goes to England one week <laughs> and what? she's schooling oh, us. No, it was six <laughs> days. <laughs> seven, six days, seven. Two days, the traveling. Yo. No, no, no. <laughs> one and a half. One and a half. <laughs> the traveling. One and a half. Yeah. Okay, one and a half. And then I, like, slept. And yeah. then I started, Shh, let's go. Okay. Let's see this place. It was difficult sleeping because, like, it's 6 ah, p.m. Ah, Becky, I wanna, I wanna, no. it's same time zone. So no, s- no, no, listen, <laughs> same time ah, zone, ah, ah, but 6 o'clock, and it's like this. Okay, but that was what you can get used to at the America. Oh, 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 uh, where were you, where were you, my brother? Were you in New York City? Anyway, welcome back, Nish. No, no, so. I, I, I can't take a break. I got to uh, tell my story yo. first. I, I was in New York. It was a good time. <laughs> right. I went to Beyonce. I uh, watched the concert. My wife really loved her. Right. We paid 850 a ticket, which was really what? expensive. But what? What? No, no, it was 850 a, a ticket. No, US dollars. What seats were those? No, no, hey. like very good seats. But I mean... 850? No, 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 no. Ah, <laughs> ah, 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 <laughs> shit. Okay. No, but but yeah, it's I mean, the, the show was good. So yeah. yeah, there it was difficult for me to sleep because of you know the time zone. Okay. okay, it was not, difficult not for what you to sleep. Not about one hour. Uh-uh. One hour uh-uh. behind. Uh-uh. No, it wasn't like ju- it was the sun. You know when you are used to seeing a certain you know type of color <laughs> at a certain type of time. Ah no. Hey. Um. <laughs> At 6 p.m., okay, Becky wait, you know what? At 6 p.m., Becky, Becky, you already Becky. know that the sun is going down, all right? Mm. It was like this, broad daylight. But talk to you about 8 p.m., broad daylight Becky, like this. Talk to you 6 p.m. No, this is like 4. Imi, what are you people drinking? What's the tea All right, so episode 50 had to be special, right? Like mm. Episode 50 had to That's be special. That's why we had to come out here. And then you pulled a nice one. Yeah, and we had to, you know, for the longest time, people have been asking us to do this whole Shadaya interview once more, right? Yeah. They were hoping, or they are hoping, that is different from the first time. I'm sure it will. You know what I mean? There's, yeah. uh, there's, there's, uh, um, yeah, there's definitely a difference because it's Becky K now, right? Yes. Yeah, but people really uh, love that episode, and I think it's, it's the episode that really got us up there. True. In terms true. Of, uh, yeah. of, of people getting to know about us. So, so episode 50 had to be this guy. Episode 50 had to be this guy. How hard was it to get a hold of him? Uh, let him tell you. Shadai, how many times? How many times, <laughs> how many times did I try and get you on the show? Um, what episode was that? The one that I did with uh, Ranji. Yeah, that was a long time ago. I don't know. Was it episode 7 or something like that? Like back that early the, on? Yeah, it was one of the, 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 no. the maybe. Yeah, it was. Because, you know, remember, Ranji did 11, um, 11 episodes. We're on 50 now, so we've done more, a whole lot more, right? Like, so okay, I'm thinking it should have been like episode 7 or something. Uh-huh. Is that right? Uh, episode Who knows this information? Yeah, I episode think. Episode 11. Oh, it was episode 11. Episode 11. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. It was episode 11. So it was episode 11. Episode 11. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that means, uh, I mean, 39 times. You tried. <laughs> 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 yes, 39 times. Yes. Okay, all right, all yes. right. Is that where it's Your going? mathematics is good. Yes. Okay. 
We tried 39 times. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and each time, okay, so we'll just say 38 because 39 magazo. Because okay. yeah, you know what it is? Uh, when we did that thing, um, Shadaya, people knew him from Twitter. He was always on Twitter. I think it was yeah, one of yeah, the first yeah. way he actually did a long interview with somebody, I think. Um, and then that really popped off. And, and okay. the drama that came with it, I think, is what really propelled it, right? Okay. And then people wanted us to keep doing drama, but we don't do drama like that. Like, that was that was natural. It just happened. Yeah, it did. And it that's did. why it was special. And he that's has why a we way of just. Yeah. Hmm? Or provoking. And then you just you know, but you just have to. Yeah. And get answers because that's yeah. what I'm here for. I'm here that's for it, answers. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna do this nice and slow. You know, work you in a little bit. You know, like mm. how you do with them girls. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, we it's work, okay. work them in before you numb the iron. Yeah, I know. I know. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Nash, what is this? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Marinate somehow. Uh, yeah. All right. So um, you decided to. Okay, let me not say decided. You had a light bulb moment in your life somewhere along the line, and you started talking about things that people were not naturally talking about or freely talking about it. They were thinking it, they wanted to talk about it, or they were talking about it but not like on social media platforms openly. But then you came out and you were like, Ndini, Inini, me. I am going to do this thing. What was that light bulb moment? I wouldn't say uh, there was a light bulb moment. Mm. It's something that just happened, let's say, naturally. I was talking about um, a certain experience um, about a club, you know, going to club with girls, okay. and somehow, somehow, it ended up being, um, you know, controversial. And from then on, I could figure out that, you know, maybe people are not used to this, you know, this type of talk when men actually express their own opinions, their own views on certain topics. So I just decided, you know, let me go with it. And then from that expression, that's when you started like speaking out on a regular. Or I've, I think so I've always been, uh, you know, the type of guy who always uh, expressed his opinions on things. Mm -hmm. Maybe I did it in a different way because back in the day, um, I think people knew me as a, you know, the funny guy memes. But if you look at okay. the memes that I used to do, I would touch on these subjects, but in a funny way. But now I was doing it, you know, like raw. I'm not, uh, you know. Not just posting the meme. Yes, I'm not so joking. So you would post the meme and then you'd comment on it. Yes. Or you just post. No, I would just post it and people would uh, interpret it how they wanted. Uh -huh. Yes. And then you move from there and you were like, now I am going to take <coughs> you to school. Yes. Okay. Learn or perish. <laughs> so, <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> so, so, do you hate women? No, you, are you an anti-feminist? Do you, do you hate I thought women? we were going to work in... Yes, you know? thing. Why would I hate women? Right. You sound like you do. Women are beautiful. Why would you hate beautiful creatures? That's what I say. Why? If anything, uh -huh. I hate um, the bad women. Let's say the bad women, not hate the good is women. Hate a strong word. Are you, are you still sticking with no, it? Yes, I'm sticking with it. Okay. So anything that is bad, you mm -hmm. should hate it. So which ones, are the, which, which, which ones are the bad women? Okay. The bad women. Okay. I would say um, pretty do, much. Do we have any bad women? Ooh, I see a lot. Oh. I see a lot. Yeah. I yeah. See a lot. yeah. Okay, everybody, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. Say it again. <laughs> I, I just want to know, like, if you're judging my hair, are you saying I'm a bad person because my hair is pink? Uh, we, we, we have this saying um, in Shona. We say, Kuvunduka, Chati Kwatara, Wonge Une, Katuru. I simply said, I see a lot of bad women, and for some reason, she's the first one to say, Is it my hair? Can I is say something? Hair? Because on one of your posts, this is why I came as a pink lady. Okay. Because my hair is oh. normally blonde. Yes. Um, but I did this so, for so you. So that's that's for Shadaya. Yes. Blonde. Oh, oh that's dope. Yes. Yes. That's yes. Dope. Okay. So because you said that ladies who dye funny colors in their hair should watch out for them. So what are you watching out? 
when you're looking at me in my pink hair, what are you watching out for? Okay, what exactly am I looking out for? You are a dangerous woman. That's the thing. <laughs> because even in the jungle, right, the most deadly creatures, they've got what? The most colorful colors. You are a dangerous woman. <laughs> for example, which animals? Okay, we can talk about um, the most poisonous snakes. Some of the most poisonous snakes. They've got colors. They mesmerize you with their colors. Let's say even the python itself. <laughs> oh, so am I mesmerizing you with my no, hair? No, no. Like, for me, you know. No, for like, me. Just, for me, when Danny J said uh, uh, it was dope. For me, uh, I would say I'll translate it in Shona. Mm. D O P E. The literal meaning in Shona. Dope. Okay, when I look at ex that. explain dope to me. Dope. 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 It means. Um, my dark. Sure. So the pink hair is equivalent to my darker to you. Yes. Because it's pink. Yes. So it should be black. Yes. Oh, I see. That's your hair. Okay. Why so are you damaging yourself? So I damaged myself. Yes. I have pink hair, so suddenly I'm damaged. You are damaging yourself. I'm not damaged. Your hair is supposed to be black. I know who I am, so how can you say I'm damaged? Why would you judge me based on my appearance when you don't know me? Okay. Why don't you get to know me first yes, and then you judge me? Because okay. there are some women who have black hair who are actually dangerous. Yes. And then there are some women like me who have pink hair because we just like that Pink. No, she, she, she does make a good point. I, mm. is, is she done? Okay. Yeah, okay, are you done? Why did I judge you on your appearance? Okay. It's like when you say you're going to look for a job, right? Why do you have to try and spice yourself up to look nice when you're going to look for a job? When you're going for an interview, you get your hair shaved, uh, you wear a nice suit, you wear a nice form of wear, you, you're looking presentable because you want the company to see you in good light. Right? Yeah. Meaning appearance what matters. That's the first thing somebody sees when they you know when they look at you, your appearance. They can make an assessment of that. Now when I look at you looking like this. But that's just you, or is no. that every man in general? In, this room right in now general. Now looking at of course like these guys cannot admit to that. Do they you know why? Admit. They won't admit to that. Do you know why? Because apparently they admit don't want to, to offend. The fact that her hair is mesmerizing <laughs> no. and she's dangerous. No. So he's saying that the, the, the men in here won't admit to mm. that because they don't want to hurt her feelings. And this is where I'm asking, is that the case? Uh, but that's not always the case, sorry. But aunt looks deceiving as well. You see, this is the so. bad part. People are talking about that's not always the case. The exception doesn't make the rule. Right, if, you, if I see you, as uh, Dave Chappelle says it, right? If I see you in the street and you're wearing uh, a police uniform, right? I would assume you are what? You are a cop, right? You are a police officer. If I see you dressed, looking like a ratchet street urchin, like a hoe, I'm justified in saying you are a hoe, right? Even though maybe you may be an exception. Maybe. So that's that. how it works. So you are saying based on perception because okay. human beings are visual. Yes. Now, is, that, is that where you're going or I'm now? Uh, yes. Okay. You're about so to ask something. Human beings are visual, so what appearance happened? matters. No, nothing else. You know, you know Nash, Nash, Nash were telling me we did uh, uh, try to get a few of our friends to come and ask, but they're, they're genuinely afraid of... Oh. All of the women I called said, I'm, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I can't come there. Shadaya will make me get into depression real quick. And <laughs> <laughs> Even I'm getting into a depression. <laughs> That's Can we take it back to what you just said? You said according to you. Then I asked, is it just according this to you? This is not you? according to me. It's like every man in here. Everyone is, is thinking, thinking that when they looked at all of you, you know, the women in here, uh -huh. they made their judgments. This one is good. This one is bad. This one... I'm not so sure. They did those judgments. The one okay, based, okay, based on appearance. 
which one is good according to your perception? Okay, based on appearance. Yes. Mm. Without, you know, you know, Further going into, you know, the yeah. character and everything. Mm. Okay, I would say the woman with the most uh, natural hair or longest hair in here. That's the na natural. You know, yes, Not natural weave. hair. Not weave. Natural or longest? Because okay. you said two things. Okay, yes, thing. I'm trying to, you know, to find the middle <laughs> ground. <laughs> You see, yeah, we can go there. Hair. We can go there. Let's say for now, we can go there. You know. So she looks good right now. She looks good right now. Behaved woman. Oh. No, I'm just saying her appearance looks oh, good. Okay. Yes, it's worth investigating. You now go and approach that woman. <laughs> and that one is dangerous. There's Stay a formula. Away. That's that's a no. Don't so, don't approach. Abort her. mission. Oh, about wow. Mission. How are you feeling? Jesus. Sure. She called on Jesus. Mm. <laughs> she called on Jesus. <laughs> Do you actually know that I preach the word of God? Yes, thing. If you preach the word of God mm -hmm. and you're looking like a demon. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so you, so you have seen demons. Yes, thing. You've seen oh. demons. <laughs> I, I would assume this is what a demon would look like. So, you, so I look yes. like a demon to you. That's just the truth. Because I have pink hair. Okay. That's just the truth. Huh? Right. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Woo. Uh, Apo, Becky is wearing pink, Saga. <laughs> Becky got demon light. <laughs> wow. Piercings? Uh, piercings. Mm. Piercings are okay, but too much of it damage the goods as well. Why are you damaging yourself? Your precious, you know, lovely skin, why are you damaging it? So things like nose ring, tongue ring, belly ring, chichi. Uh, that's, that's a sign of trauma. Trauma? Sh sh yes. Like Munu, who's going He's but gone through a lot, that person. Shada. That's why they're trying to, you but, know. Shada, but that doesn't, doesn't some of these piercings look sexy? Uh, yeah, don't they, some of them look sexy? Like I said, too much of the piercings, they become a problem now. Okay. That is a sign of trauma. Most likely, it has to do with an abortion. That's the truth. Okay. That's the truth. <laughs> okay. Right, turn in my piercings. Turn <laughs> you seem to have like an answer for like... Yeah. Nash, what, what, what were you about? No, no, no. I mean, I love Shadaya. <laughs> He's doing my job. <laughs> <laughs> Shadaya's doing your job. Okay, so we've, okay. we've covered hair color, piercings, tattoos. Tattoos as well. Tattoos look good on men. Do you know why they look why? good on men? Why? Because when they are on men, they show, um, these are, what would you say, um, an artistic expression of a trauma, the trauma that a man has gone through. But now when you see a woman scribbling your precious skin, that's disgusting. But, does it, does it, but doesn't, it, does, doesn't it sometimes also look nice? That's, that's the thing. That's the thing. Do you know that scientifically, you can even Google it, uh -huh. a man's skin uh -huh. is five times thicker than a woman's skin. Okay. So now what happens with these tattoos? Let's say you, Danny J, you are in your 50s now, with your tattoo, right? Mm. Your tattoo would still look good on you. And her, by the time she's in her 30s, the tattoo is already looking miserable because the skin isn't of the same quality as that of a man. Look at most of the women with tattoos in their old ages. Somebody may have a butterfly in their youth. By the time they're in their 50s, it's looking like a cabbage. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> okay, so, so no, no tattoos, no, no piercings? Yes. So based on what it will look like in the years, it's, 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 it's such a turn off. It's, it's such a turn off. When, yes, sir. we've got what we call damaged women. And damaged women, they've got these traits. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. We talked about the hair. Mm -hmm. Funny looking uh, hair with colors, you know, and stuff. Bright colors. Okay. That's the first. And then we talked about piercings. Mm -hmm. Too much of them. Mm -hmm. Right. And then we talked about tattoos. tattoos. Right, and then we talk about things like smoking for a woman. 
Why are you damaging yourself? Shisha especially. Shisha, and especially, I don't smoke shisha. Go yeah. Back. yeah. Shisha? It damages you. Okay. Yes. Otherwise, it damages you. Is that a sign of trauma also? Uh, no. It's a sign of what, what do you think about gothic uh, ladies? Gothic ladies? Yeah, satanic. <laughs> That's satanic, you know. You just call no. that one looking like a demon. Because here's the thing. When you look at the goth look, the goth look, where is it derived from? It's derived, derived from the culture, you know, that celebrates Halloween. Halloween is everything to do with the devil. There's nothing attractive about it. So where, do you, where does the pink come in? Because gothic is all black and yes. dark and doom. Yes, but thing. pink is like all bright like and said. lovely and flowery. Passion. Pink. You've got pink. She's got pink. Mm. She's lovely. You are not. Ah. It's about where is it positioned. So, so, so with my natural hair, yes. my God-given natural hair, y your hair is the in problem. Your hair is in pink. But the people who have Your hair is in pink. Okay, the people who no, have explained that is why I say okay. no, they that's are not what, okay. That's what you're saying. I didn't say they're okay. That's exactly what I'm saying. What you said. Yes, thing. Mm -hmm. You've got a situation, right? Um, let's say when it comes to poisons, right? They've got labels poisons, right? We've got different colors determining, you know, how toxic a poison is. So, in other words, those ones with the long waves, the extensions and stuff. Yes, they are poisonous. But you are too poisonous. That's the thing. Okay. Cool. All right. Okay. Yeah. I want to. I want to move you away from that. Um, Let's go. You criticize a lot of people on social media um, regarding different issues, but uh, there are some people who who think that uh, your criticism is selective, because when the vice president okay. married his beautiful wife. People were expecting you to say something, but you said nothing. Is it an issue of where, um, what was the reasoning behind that? Which is good. Uh, as a wise man, yeah. you know this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thing. Yes, thing. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. I'm a very wise dude. Yeah. Right. Never let anyone pick an opponent for you. Yeah. You are the one who gets to pick your opponent mm -hmm. based on your what? Assessments. Mm -hmm. okay. I never bow down to people's pressure telling me, talk about this, talk about that, talk about that. Is I make my own assessments. Is, is it to do with uh, that or, or like us? You know, like on the podcast, we, we shy away from politics. So is, that, is it a question of uh, there are some people that are, you can't, you're not Untouched. trying to mess around with? Yeah. Uh, by the way, I don't mess around with people. I just tell the truth about people. Okay, selective truth telling. Not selective truth telling. Mm. You are assuming that is selective truth telling. So, if, if you had a problem with uh, uh, the, the, the president, for example, would you come out and say it publicly on Twitter? If I had the problem with the president, then that would mean I'm actually now a big, big guy for a president to have a problem with me. Or no, for no, me the, to pro have a the president won't have a problem with you, but yes. you might have a problem with the president. Are you, are you able to then say, what you feel like, how you say it, when it's Olinda or Stana now, yes, they, or anybody else. You are trying to put me in a position where I get to say certain things for your satisfaction. Just no, no, it's just right. a question. I'll tell you right yes. away. Me and Becky on the podcast, we don't touch politics. Yeah. I want to I Okay. Oh, you don't want so problems. Yeah. Okay. Go, do no, the politics. You know what, can I ask for your dial? I mean, honestly, guys. Mm. I, want, I wanted to hear it from him. Because there are people who say he's selective on who he goes for. No. Which people are these ones? I, I, I don't think that Shadai is selective. He attacked Rihanna on a tweet yeah. about the, no, the no. husband. Rihanna is but, but, but think about it. Rihanna is a big deal, but the president is a bigger deal to us. Oh, yes, okay. yes. <laughs> by the way, yes. By the way. Yes. By the way. Yes, thing. When you look at a president, a president is an individual. That is a state. Shadan, you get my feeling. Are you going to tell me that? That is a state. You are a clever guy. You don't mess around with politicians. Can with you just tell me that? Can I tell you what? Is that is that the position? That I don't mess around with that politicians. That you are not going to say yes because a lot of people, a lot of people like us, for example, we yes. know it's not in our best interest we are very to smart. do that. Oh, it's not in your best interest no, to talk don't. about that's, the politics. That's, that's our reason. That's, that's our your reason. reason. So I want to know your Okay. Reason. For me, when I talk about someone, 
I don't talk about them looking at uh, their position or their occupation. I talk about things with relations to my philosophy, the red pill philosophy. So if the president, like you said, and in my case, from my knowledge, with regards to the red pill and the issues that I talk about, women and stuff, yeah. I don't see where we have clashed. Unless you can highlight me the areas where we have clashed. The okay, onus is so on you when, now. So when you speak out, it's because it has clashed with your red pill. Yes, then I'm all about like, the red uh, pill uh, uh, philosophy, especially okay. focusing on what gender dynamics. Okay. I focus on gender dynamics. But somehow, you people, you want me to talk about, you know, the political side of things. I don't do that. So he doesn't do it. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't I don't do, do that. For obvious reasons. Right. Okay. I, Not sorry. for obvious reasons. Just, just a quick question, Danny, before you move on. Yeah. I've agreed with a lot of what you just said. Yes. Personally, I also associate, like, bright-colored hair with daddy issues. With daddy issues? But that's, that's me. That's me, daddy right? I, I, I could be wrong. But more to the point that you just raised, um, Shadaya. So I think it's like a two- or three-part question. Do you believe based off how well or not well an economy functions also has a direct correlation to how either women or men or whatever it is sort of do to attain a living. If, if that was always the case, what would explain uh, the immorality we are seeing in the United States? No, yep, well, I, that I hear is you. an excuse. Okay, yep, I hear you. But then again, in the United States, you could then attribute that to like um, so much freedom of expression. However, mm. there's other countries that have got a horrible economy where you see prostitution going up, for example. Do you agree with that? Yes. Then so now, just pause I, there. I, I want to give you a, a very, very uh, good example of a horrible country, but with good morality. Let's talk about uh, the Middle East, uh, you know, war ravaged countries okay. they are very very terrible places to live in but the prostitution or the immorality is very very low once do you know again, why one, because one, of competent men no i hear you once again you spoke of the exception not being the rule no these are these aren't exceptions these are not exceptions because right now if we look at the countries with the majority of immorality or you know immoral behaviors it's actually the developed countries right now I wouldn't want to live in those countries. They okay. are disgusting right now. I, I hear you. But notwithstanding what you're saying, do you agree that a horrible economy also gets people to act a certain way, which speaks to what you've just said, how women I end up acting I, up? I, I wouldn't say a horrible economy. Weak men that. lead to that. So, so a bad economy doesn't. Weak men lead to that. An economy doesn't. It's weak men. men lead to that. So a bad economy beats doesn't. Beats a good economy, beats a bad economy, as long as the men are weak. Okay, okay, the women okay, are going okay, to be, you know. Please, uh, can you what? just describe to us what you mean by weak men? Weak men? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, let's say, for example, right, in this place we are in, it's a club, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. The majority of the women, like I said, who come to these places, they're bad women, right? <laughs> and when you, as a man, as a man you come to these places, right, you are coming for... I, I like I like how Pablo stood up when you said that. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's like, what do you it's mean okay. I bring bad women here? No, it's okay. Yes, thing. When you come to these places, you are coming for what we call recreational purposes, yes. and these women are for what recreational what purposes. But because you're a weak man, you end up committing to women you picked from this place. That's weakness. Okay, Weak so men reward w immorality. Oh, okay. That's fair. I don't believe y'all. So, <laughs> Becky, is that why you don't go to the club? It just. So, 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 so the, the, the women that go to the clubs, they're not good women. They're not good women. Okay, all right. So, so you heard it, guys. What about women who go to the club with their husbands? They've got weak husbands. <laughs> That's fair. Okay, so no, hey, Nash, Danny. Nash, Danny, no, how no, are you? no more going Mrs. to the club with, with, with wives and, and, and so on, you know. Bunch okay. of weak men. Uh, can I explain myself? Yeah, okay, this? go ahead. Okay, <laughs> let me explain this to you. 
when you go with your woman to a club, yeah. you are literally putting yourself in a position whereby you are going to end up in unnecessary conflict. Because exactly, <laughs> you see, you see, okay, you don't use logic. Right. If you had reasoned, you know such things happen at these places. Okay. All right. So Mrs. good women Zaya, must not go to. Just a question. Just a question. To the club. Wait, okay, yeah. Go. Fine. Uh, fine. You said you base everything on appearance, right? So between a beautiful woman and an ugly woman, which one would you tack? Besides, like the hair and the everything and the everything. Are you best on how beautiful someone is or what? Like, like I said, like I said, do not misquote me. Do not misquote me saying that I base everything on looks, right? I was saying with regards to that context mm. of looks, I would look at the women and I would pick the lesser word poison, right? But, but they're with all your, yes, but with regards to your question, there's a beautiful woman, there's an ugly woman. Who are you picking? It's obvious you're picking the beautiful woman, right? Mm -hmm. The same way if I were to give uh, women the same task between a broke guy and a rich guy, who are you picking? They are picking the rich dude. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Okay. okay. You good? Uh, I yeah. wanted to do a follow up. Okay. On that. Um, so based on like the question that Danny had brought up earlier, that um, it seemed as if you were selective on the people that you would um, critique or write your comments about. How much of research or factual information do you put in? Because there was a post you posted about a certain lady, I'm trying not to like mention her name. Um, you, you mentioned information about her um, and then somewhere along the line you mentioned untrue information. Do you ever go back to correct and say, Oh, this was not true, but still standing with whatever now, now, it is. Now it said. becomes difficult for me to answer you without revealing the name of the person. Because I cannot just, you know... Becky, we, we always say names out here. Yeah, no, Do you want Nash to say the name for you? And say the untrue things that I said about this woman. You want to tell me in my ear? Oh, okay. okay. Tell us the name. I might not say the name, but you would definitely remember the story. You no, know, we want to know the name of the person. Samantha, Miss Red. That, that story you wrote about Miss Red, the baby daddies, the children, and you kind of went overboard. You exaggerated the number of the baby daddies. What, what is the correct position, first two of all? Kids. She's got two kids, two kids but two in his story, daddies. he wrote three. And, okay. and for those people who know who she is... Okay. It's like, wait a minute. Okay. Three. You, 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 you talked about the number of the kids. What about the baby daddies? No, when you say baby daddy, and it's a baba we mwana. Yes. Uh -huh. so, how, so how many are they? She's got two. She's got two children. Two so, children. And yes. With who? With two guys. With two guys. Yes, but <laughs> in your story, no, I'm saying in your story, you said three. Oh, three. Yes, making it seem as if she's got three children. So now it looked like she was hopping from one man to another, to another, okay. to another. Okay, so, so in other words, my you, question you is, are saying she hopped from, from one man to another, two. And I wouldn't say hop, right? No, she hopped. According to you. Happen. According to you. Circumstances happen. According to and you. And relationships end, and then you end up with someone else. Hopping is eh, yes thing. Papisa, let me go. And yes thing. Like that. Yes yeah, thing. But circumstantial. One baby daddy. Mm -hmm. That's understandable. Much. That's uh -huh. a mistake. We can say okay, maybe it's a mistake. Okay. Two. That is a pattern. What's it, what if two the, is a pattern? That is what, a pattern. What, okay. What if what if the first one passed away? Thank you. What if the first one passed away? Uh -huh. yeah. and, and then and then, and then and she then got another she one. Got another one. Did, did he pass away? No, no, no. No, this no is we, we, we're this. talking with, re, with regards to the <laughs> context. <laughs> no. Did he pass away? No, no, because you're saying more than uh, yes one thing. is a problem. No, yes. so yes. I'm giving like we said, exceptions, right? There are exceptions. Mm. But we're talking with regards to this story. Did he die? No, he's very much alive. Then let's end it there. Okay, I was married, got divorced, that. got into another relationship. Okay, all right. 
we were saying like someone is married right. and then they're being treated badly in the marriage right. and lots of bad things are happening and then they manage to come out of that relationship. Does that mean that they don't get into another relationship or make babies anymore? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. When people talk about these stories about mm. women coming from these abusive marriages, mm. uh -huh. they talk about it as if these women were victims. Yet in majority of the cases, these women are actually the architect of their own what misery in this sense uh -huh. in this sense yeah. example example the majority of these girls if you go on social media they will tell you that i would rather cry in a bmw than be happy smiling in a wonder fit in a wonder fit already that tells you something <coughs> they you know, willingly put themselves in these situations. Simple as that. But what I'm saying, well, okay, there's nothing wrong with someone <coughs> wishing best, the best for their life, right? Everyone wants to be in a Mercedes compared to a Honda Fit. So that's given. Guy, oh. girls, it's the same thing, right? Right. And then some of the decisions uh, end up to, to be what? to be something else exactly than they expected you're mm -hmm. coming which again. is normal which is normal in life yes thing i love uh -huh. the part where you said bad decisions people make what bad decisions yeah and here's the thing how do you know that a guy is going to be abusive no no yes when you marry him. exactly yes thing how, how do, do you, you know that a guy is going to be abusive mm. that's where you know i'm going to talk about that's what i'm going to talk about yeah. back in the day right back in the day before women uh, apparently got you know these so-called uh, rights, right? These freedoms, so, so whatever. Cold. Yes. So cold. She doesn't like that. <laughs> we used to have what would say arranged marriages, number one. Okay. We also used to have scenarios whereby the parents had to what? Give their blessings with regards to the man you had picked, right. with regards to the woman you had picked, right? Most likely, back in the day, when you as a woman, you said uh, to your father, this is my guy, this is my boyfriend. Your father would have his own assessment of the guy, of the guy because it takes a man to know a man. Okay. The same way you should listen to your mother as well when she tells you certain things about a lady you've introduced to her because it takes a snake to know a snake. But you, you, but, you, but you know that abusive yeah. people don't show their abusiveness I know. until it it's takes too late. a man. A man right now can see this is fake. No, I don't, I don't think I'll be able to, to tell. I can see that. So if I was I to see. bring a guy to you here, you'd be able to pick out... For me, have, have a chat not. with him, you know, uh -huh. a couple of days. I can tell you, this is a scammer. This is an abusive guy. This okay. is a cheater. This is this. Okay. So Simple with the that. question that Danny asked, maybe there was no room for that. There, was, there wasn't any room for... Uh, for the parents to see the guy, she gets into this marriage, the guy is abusive, she has to Like we out. said, there are always measures, you know, to stop this. There are always measures. Take your time. How do you get into a marriage with someone who you've never confronted, who you've never been in a conflict with, who you've never been in an argument with, and no, see how they react to that? Things, no, no, this is not, okay. this is the... Shada, does a bad decision make you a bad person? Bad decision. Two. No, no, just these just are decisions. Give me a yes or no. Decisions. A bad. Okay, okay. One bad decision decisions. or two. Okay, okay. Bad decisions. Okay, Does there are people bad who make you are a bad, bad person. You're a bad, you are a bad person. person. That's harsh. Either stupid or just plain, you know, bad. <laughs> Simple as that. I think you're oversimplifying. No, I'm not oversimplifying because anything. Because I'm sure you've. Uh, because yes. Are, are you a bad person? Me. I wouldn't say I'm a bad person, uh, but yes, thing, and I wouldn't say I'm a good. I won't say I'm a good, good person as so well. So you're a wise. I'm a balanced person. So we are all balanced. Okay, so I'm so, a balanced so these person. Balanced people no, yes, thing. Thing. Bad one thing about me. One balanced. thing about me, like you said, mm -hmm. if you remember correctly, there was a time that I got arrested, right? Yeah. yeah. I got arrested. Let's say uh, it was for a bad decision that I made. Yeah. We are just saying it was for a bad decision that I made. If I were to go on and make that same bad decision, that would just make me what? Stupid. So if you have got one baby, baby daddy and then you end up with another baby yeah, daddy, but you people. are stupid. They're different Simple people. as that. But, uh, but I'll, I'll put it to you like, Shada, Stupid is that. Shada, we were talking about lowering women. Yes. 
when you or any guy is luring a woman, right. they're going to show a pretty picture. Yes. So that they get the woman. Yes. yes. Right? Yes. No the woman the woman the, the woman way. the woman is that's, gonna fall for this thing. guy. That's the which thing. you expect even when you're yes, when you're hitting on a chick, yes, like you expect them don't to make women victims when it comes to relationships, mm. right? The guy, the woman, everyone is lying to the other. This one is showing their good qualities. This one is showing their good qualities. So it's about who gets to win now in the end. Mm. Simple as that. Wars have uh, destroyed many good men, and bad men has also destroyed many good women. It's just about you. Are you stupid? Simple as that. If you're stupid, you're going to be taken advantage of. Simple as that. The world isn't, uh, you know, this magical place where everybody has good intentions. But you, 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 you oversimplify it and make it seem like no, there's a I, formula to knowing people. Uh, there's a formula. There's no What's formula. For me, there's, no there's formula. a formula. Study people. You, Learn people. Yeah, you can. Learn people. Like I told you, most of these women, if you were to ask them what they look for in a guy, mm -hmm. they're going to tell you, I'm going to look at his financial status. They would care less to look at his character. They only get to discover the character now when they're living with that thing. There, there's a bit of truth there, yeah? That's the thing. And we are supposed to, you know, no, to pity with them. No, because women want stability. So the first thing that we think of is money. stability, money, and it. And then she character and also Jona, Chakumberi. But kune mu nakadziza, which is what you are saying, and it. Kune mu nakadziza. It's not about mu nakadziza. What do you mean by mu nakadziza? As in kwenye kuchikoro. No, adziza from the past. Or kudziza, you would say kuti mu na we've learned from life. Yeah, yeah, yeah learned from kudziza, life. No. Eh, no, 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 not mm. education wise. Kudziza. Mm. Kudziza from the yes. past experience. Mm. So you were a bad uh, judge of character yes. in, the, in the first marriage. And right. then now when you get into your second one or whatever relationship, in your words you are saying the person should take their time to know this person before they... What I'm trying to say is this. Uh, I think this is where m most women get it wrong. Mm. The moment you make a mistake as a woman, mm -hmm. right, you need to accept this harsh reality. Which is? You are no longer first preference. You're no Simple longer first that. preference in terms to of... Men, to men. If you are a single mother, you are no longer first preference to there, men. There we go with that nyaya again. Do you know why? Okay, why? Do you know why? So, market value my M1 depreciated by how much? It depreciates. By how much? What are we looking at? What numbers are we looking at? Market value, forty percent. So okay. market value, no. Market let's say for me, I usually say out of ten, right? Uh, okay, we yeah, rate okay, women right like out of ten. Out right. of ten. Out of ten. Mm -hmm. If yeah. if a woman is eighteen, she's mm -hmm. a ten. Okay. She gets to twenty. She gets to nineteen. She's a nine. Twenty eight. The more she ages, the more she depletes. Twenty six. Right. Twenty six. I think you can, you know, yeah, move Apple, with the numbers. Apple, Maybe Apple. she's about. Are you, are you gonna take it to your age, ah. baby? Ah, no, I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not even here. Like you must, you must leave me alone. I'm spoken okay. for. So, so like, let's you know. say uh, for us, a woman who's in her thirties, she's now at a zero, right? Oh. Thirties zero. No. Zero right. Zero, zero value. You know. Becky. Now. I'm good. I now you. I think Pablo. Okay. Wh it, who's can who's it? can I ask a question? Yes. I'm sitting here, I'm listening for him talking and talking. Yeah. I'm running a club 11 years. I know characters, I know ladies, I know men. Right? I know the mistake, I know what they're doing behind the scene. We all know the game. Right? But for someone to come here and lecture to the ladies how to run their life, it's a bit primitive. That's number one. Number two, when you describe women as goods, and let's go back to the ladies with the pink hair, you're saying you are damaged goods. How do you start conversation when you call a lady a goods? Which yes. means you want to control it. For you, just accessories. Yes, thing. Yes, thing, my guy. Yes, thing. Yeah. In your attempt to try and sound smart, right? <laughs> yes, thing. In your attempt. These women, if you are to interview them, right, they will tell you that a broke man doesn't deserve no pussy, meaning they have a prize. Anything that has a prize, it is a good. Simple as that. I, I think you're going to have a, a career where you're going to have a lot of kids out of marriage because if that's your opinion about ladies, you'll never have a wife. Yes, thing. You will have goods. Yes, thing. Yes, thing. You would have a, yes, thing. When it comes to these goods, right, we've got what we call prime quality goods, damaged goods. Simple as that. And he goes on. That's so, how it works. So, how do you describe your mother? How do you what? How do you describe your mother? 
If you go, if you analyze the history of your mom, how do I describe my mother? Yes. I would say premium. How do you know? Your mother's premium quality. How do you know? According to my father, according to what he told me, that was a premium quality good. Simple as that. How do you know? I know so. Because, because I trust my father. So. Because your I father trust my father. You so. That was enough for that. Let me tell you one thing. Some yes, of sir. the ladies that come into a club, like you yes. said, you know, women that go to a club, they are not good women. They don't need you. Yes, they, they don't need your permission, your approval to come to a yes, club. They. they are independent, powerful yes, women they. that come to yes, buy their own they. drinks. Yes, they. Yes, they. Maybe you are the damaged this, goods. This, uh, this, <laughs> this so-called this so oh, assumption. Oh, yes, they. No. No. Yes, they. Okay. When right, you right, say right, right. there are women who are independent, right? Yeah. Can you describe this independence? Independent? Yes. They don't need you to buy them a drink. They don't need me to buy a drink for yeah. them. Yes. They, they come to the club to have fun. To have fun. They have a job. What is the idea of fun? Idea of for fun? For women. What is for a, for a woman? For these women. How do you can judge a woman? What, what is the idea, idea of fun? Some of them want to do bungee. Some of them want to drink. Some yes, of them they, want to go to You are to talking America. as a business person. Because Boy. yes, thing. If you were to tell these women the truth, that the reason you want them here is to get money, they won't come. There is no truth. But you know it's the Let truth. Let me tell you one Simple thing. Simple as that. Let You're talking from thing. a business person perspective. It's, it's the truth that you put you in But you know your the head. truth. There is no such thing as an independent woman. As an independent woman. It's, it's only a woman it, it, depend it's, it's on men. Only, it's only someone An independent woman is a product of a man. Simple as that. A woman uh, there is uh, no a woman such thing. Okay, let me explain this to okay. you. Mm -hmm. Let me explain this to you. Yeah. I don't want the mm, 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 Okay, shut up. Right? Let me explain. Okay. Let me explain. Okay. Do I have a woman who claim that she's independent? You. You claim you're independent. Okay. Why do you claim you're independent? Give her the mic. That's okay, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I love it. Okay. <laughs> First of all, an independent woman is a woman who's able to sustain herself financially, carry herself financially. That's what you're calling an independent woman, right? We need to be on the same plane. Who, who calls women independent? I, I, I'm refuting that, alley, you know, okay, that allegation fine. that women the are independent. The reason why I call myself an independent woman is because I'm a successful business woman. Right. And I became a successful business woman. I didn't have to sleep around with any man. Okay. I wrote my business proposal. Mm -hmm. I got an investor to invest in my company. Mm -hmm. And right now my product is in pharmacies across uh, Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. On my own. Like we said. I like we said. Like we said. I did that. Yes thing. On my own. Yes thing. There was no Yes man. thing. You know, this is this All is right. the funny part. Okay, let's get this, the response. This is the funny part that I love, you know, mm. when they talk about this, they get, you know, to di to dismiss the fact that they have been put measures in place to make sure that women tend to what to be successful more than men okay i'll give you an example I, when we look she not an independent woman? yes thing i'm talking in general when we talk about graduates right right now we're being told that many women are graduating more than men meaning women are actually more intelligent than men but then people tend to forget that we've got what we've called um quarter systems right they are quarter systems or whatever they call them You've got this woman, she's got, let's say, 10 points, right? I've got nine points. I want to study maybe accounting, right? When I go and apply, let's say it's an example of a university, we go and apply there. Me, I'm not given the program because I don't, uh, you know, qualify for the right amount of points. Maybe they want 12 points, but she can still get in. Okay. You see? Already. But they don't consider that. Okay. And then we look at the policies that are being put in place right now. Mm -hmm. The policies that are being put in place, you can try to deny them all you want, but they are what? Biased towards women. And why should so, you so ride on it? Why? Shada, it's working in our is favor. She this or is, is she not an independent woman? Like she said, if she it, was... It, a, it doesn't matter how she got it. Yes, uh -huh. thing. Independent she woman. Not? She's looking at it from only the financial aspect. She literally told you that at the beginning of the show, she had to dye her hair what? Pink so that she can get my validation. You see, at the I end of the day, is she I an independent woman? Excuse no, she's me. not an independent hello, woman. Hello. She wants my validation excuse as a man. Me. Excuse me. Excuse me. You I, say I this. did not do it. 
to gain your validation. You said it yourself. I did it you to wanted provoke me to, you yes, they, to what in other you words, are saying. In other because words, I wanted what to I tell say, you in other words, what I say, what I say matters to you, that you cannot my validation. Judge a woman you see, by her appearance. at the end of the day, you do not judge we can go back and forth with this woman, no. but she was looking no. for my Validation, I was not my for your attention, validation. my thoughts okay. on her. All right. Simple as that. Okay, cool. You okay. don't judge a woman right. by her appearance. You don't judge a woman by her past pains, her past shames, her past failures. That is absolutely 100% wrong. Every woman has a past. Every woman has failed somewhere. And I have every, every right to choose a woman without such a past. I have a right. I have a right to choose a woman with such a past. Simple as that. You, you don't have to try inside. and guilt. We, I'm not and guilty. you see, she, I'm she, not she wants guilty. to guilty shame me you, into accepting no, 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 no. it with a bad, with a bad appearance, with a trauma. You see, that's the thing. Women tend to manipulate men that because they've got these past pains, these traumas, whatever they have, mm -hmm. men are supposed to accept them because of, you know, in, in, in you when they don't accept, accept them, okay. it's okay. being misogynist. Hold on, hold on. All right. I have a right to choose women who are not damaged. I have a right to choose women who have a clean past. I have a right to and choose so women who are young. Okay, as a man, perfect. why do you want to deny me that right as a man? Okay. We are right. not denying you the right. No, you are Taking denying this. Taking it back to Pablo's point, yes. he said maybe you are the one who is damaged. I'm damaged. In what yes. way? In what way? May men I say grow from struggle. Men grow from and women trauma. Don't grow from they get damaged. Or oh, women get yes. damaged. Men grow. From, yes. I'm done. That's the thing. May I say something? Simple as that. Shadaya, okay. you once. You once insulted women who twerk on social media, yes. and then a video of your girlfriend twerking yes. on social media came out. Yes. So when you were calling women who twerk, twerk yes. on social media that is hoes, yes thing. so is your okay. girlfriend a hoe? Yes thing. You are bringing my girlfriend in, right? I'm You're trying to make it personal, question. but it's okay. No, I'm asking yes, you a question. I want to, I want to, answer, to I want to answer to you. I want to answer to you. I want to answer to you. Yes, thing. Because that was her behavior, fatherless behavior, and she had to be reprimanded. That if you do this again. You're out of the books. Simple as that. How was she reprimanded? Yes. How she was, was she reprimanded? She was reprimanded. Simple as that. Okay, okay. Shadaya All right. So, like, so, know, like so, a... so your girlfriend can... Ba, ba, ba. No, 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 she can. Your girlfriend can make a mistake, no. but she's not a whole. Yes, thing. But other people yes, can, ma can yes, make thing. the same mistake, but they, okay. they, made, they remain whole. Like we were talking about, the mistakes. How many videos of her have you seen her twerking on in, on the internet? That one You've was enough. You've got one video, that right? One was that enough. one and fatherless was behavior was girlfriend. enough, and she was no, reprimanded. But, she had you. but now you've got a woman she who've had made you. a career out of twerking. You've got women who've made a career out of twerking, despite being told stop twerking. They keep on twerking. They keep on twerking. But they keep on twerking. Shut up. It was supposed what to what? Is that is fatherless behavior. Shut up. She had you. That was fatherless but behavior. She had you. Okay. Yes. Thing. Shut up. Uh -huh. Do Thank we you. have a problem with women twerking? I, I don't have a problem. You don't have a problem uh, with that. I, I don't have a problem seeing your women woman, twerking. Your daughter. No, no. Hold on. Uh, no, Do like I say, a, no, no. your daughter no, no, will be no. twerking. Would you have no, a problem no. with it? Hold on. Hold on. I, get I ask the question. You doesn't you, get to see You're it. answering my question with a question. Yes. Do you? Would you have? Shada. Would Shada. you be okay with your daughter no, twerking right now? No, you wouldn't, man. How can so, you watch Shada. Shada. So no man is. Okay. You're answering a question with a question. No. Do you have a problem? Sasha Daya. Seeing women twerk. Do I have a problem seeing women twerk? Yes. Do you like it? Do you like Do I like women twerking? Yes. No, I don't like women twerking. You wear? In public. You wear? No, like seriously. You wear? I'm being honest with you. I'm being honest with you. Because at the end of the day, I asked him, would you want your daughter to twerk? On social media? Would you want your daughter to twerk? On no, social media, you are looking, you're, 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 you're scrolling you're, social media, and you're watching your daughter. She's shaking your butt. No, no, no. no that's imbalance. Can I, can I jump no, again? No, the way you're doing it, you're, you're, you're putting me into this as a father. I'm talking yes. To you. I want to be put. Uh, no, into this as a man. Uh, no. As yes, a man. thing. As a man. Don't, don't, yes, thing. Don't, don't okay. Me. Don't let's remove. Me let's remove the father part. Uh -huh. Now, as a man, wait, would you want wait, to look wait, wait, at your woman twerking? No, no. Would you be happy with it? You're not. You're not twerking. Where? Twerking. Would you happy with it? Twerking for everyone. In the bedroom. No, I'm meaning social media. Would you want that? Twerking for everyone. You see? You see? I don't need you. I don't believe it, sir. Yes, thing. What I'm you also believe everybody to believe it. No believe in what? No believe in what? You don't, like, you don't like to... Shadai, are you gay? No, I'm not gay. You are assuming I'm gay. I'm saying to you... Because... 
Because yes, say. Oh, yes, say. Oh, yes, say. Yes, say. Interesting. I've run out of memory. Oh. Yes, say. Okay. I've run out of memory on the. Hold up. Pause it. Pause it. I a normal man. Heterosexual men would have a problem seeing women twerk. So, are you gay? Which is which is a very very interesting question coming from you. You're asking me, are you gay? Mm. Yet right now you are the one who's seated like a gay. <laughs> Dick shape. <laughs> Dick shape. No. What? No. no. <laughs> yes. Sir. No. No. Yes. Sir. As a man. As a man. As a man. I got butter for. Why are you covering your dick? Dick shame. That's gay. Uh, what am I doing? Even when you take pic, we call it dick shame. What? What? What is that? Covering your what? dick. You what? sit like this as a also, man. Also, I must just hang it? Yes. Be proud of it. Okay, okay. Ah, right, back to the question. Right, yes. Back to the question, Shada. Are you gay? Because you're saying to me, you do not like to see women twerk. In public, I don't like it. Uh-uh. Or in private, you like I it? I don't like it. In if you private, like it in private. Don't. No. Yes, the thing. Why because would you like it? If I like it in public, I'm rewarding bad behavior. You see? And like I no, said, no, we are woman. where we are as a society because of weak men rewarding bad behavior. Okay, I'm not if talk- my woman is swinging for me privately, of course, Shada, maybe I'll Shada, tolerate Shada, looking at it. Shada, I'm but not talk- I don't Shada. want it I'm not in talk- public. I'm not talking about your woman right. or your sister. Yes. Women on social media twerking. Do you have a problem with it? I don't watch it. Meaning I have a problem with it. Why? It's disgusting to me. Simple as that. Ah, yes, ah, sir. Ah, yes, sir. Shada, you see, Shada, this you see that is the thing. Shada, that is the thing. Shada, Shada, that is the Shada, thing. Shada, no, I, yes, sir. Allow him. Do you know why? Do you know why? Do you know why almost every woman here was like, boah, 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 boah? Do you know why? Including the guys. Yes. Why? Because modern women, uh-huh. right, today they are more focused on how they can attract men instead of being focused on how they can keep a man. And we love it. Twerking <laughs> is about attracting and we men. Love it. And, and we love it. Yes, because thing. you know we what? Love it. Yes, thing. Like we, we, love, we love it when they we, twerk. We love it. Guys, I like my guys, woman to twerk guys, for me daily. Yeah, guys, because yeah, it makes guys, us guys, nice. Yes, thing. It, yes, we love thing. it. Like, and you know what? It's yes, thing. Let, let, cool. let us... Yes, thing. Yeah. Let, let me talk. Is. Let me talk, right? Uh, I'm the guest, right? Let me talk. Right. Okay, guest. Yes, thing. Right? Yes, thing. I'm not uh, trying to disrespect anyone in any way. Okay. Right? But If you, as a man, decide to make profit from women's vulnerability, you are a bad man. Bad that is a bad man. He's a bad man. I'm a good if, man. If, uh, which oh, one is a bad good man? man? I'm a good man I, I compared differ. to this man. Which I one differ. is a bad man? I that differ. one. Pablo. Oh, he's I a bad man. We could do a bad man. A bad man, a man. is the one that's making babies. Right you are now. making. Let me yes, tell you what is a bad man. Who is making money from profiteering from women's vulnerability? No, but, but think about When we talk about statistics right now, yes, thing. When we talk about statistics about women who are who end up being raped. Majority of them, uh. where are they from? Coming from clubs, situations happen at clubs. When we talk about women ending up in these abusive marriages, most of them, they okay, got okay. picked up in where? Right. Clubs. I'm, tr- I'm, trying to under- when we talk about- I'm trying to understand how you can put this on a club proprietor. Yes, thing. Okay, hold on, hold on. The reason why clubs exist and bars exist is because people purposes. want to go and drink. Yes, the no, clubs exist. Uh, back in the day, they were called. Uh, they were called. Uh, how, how do you? How, yes do you thing. how do you think he makes money? Yes, thing. People are coming. Yes, to thing. Liquor. Clubs are an evolution from what used to be called brothels. Simple as that. No, no, no. That's, that's, I'm telling you, that's you go into right. your biblical Shada, space. Shada. When men wanted to have fun back Shada. in the day, they used to go to brothels. Now they go to clubs. Shada. Prostitution is the Shada. order of the day. Shada. Simple as that. He's a bad man. I'm Shada. a good man. Simple oh. as that. He's going to be very lonely man also. <laughs> He's, He's a very good lonely man. man. <laughs> He's a good man. Shada. Yes. I think you have a very simplistic view on certain things. Some of the things that you attack, you attack them nicely. Things are actually very simple. Hold on, hold on. He's a businessman. Yes. What is his business? You are probably a businessman. What is his business? Hold on, hold on. His his business is selling liquor. 
Yes. He's selling, selling liquor. liquor. That's yes. how he makes money. Okay. He does not make money with chicks coming into the club and yes. going with other people. Yes, whatever. thing. He makes money. If no woman was to liquor. come, if no loose women, by the way, no loose women were to come <laughs> to these clubs, <laughs> no men would come to these clubs to buy alcohol. But he's profiteering from women get, vulnerability. Get, get, get the point. And these are the guys get who the, promote it. Get the point. You see, does he bring yes, women thing. to the club? He or women is the one the who promote. He brings them. That's why they have those things called free nights, ladies' free nights. Oh. Do they have men free nights? Oh. Right. Do they hold have on, men free on, nights? There's a question. Men Do they have men free okay, nights? We got a question there. It's right. okay. Um, I've got a question today. Like what you're saying about the clubs and everything. Yes. So my question is, what what's your take on women that work in the clubs? <laughs> oh, yo, change it. They're, they're, they're all behind you. Tashina. They are behind you. She's been serving you the Here's whole the afternoon. Yeah. Here's the thing, my guy. A woman who can sell you alcohol can sell you anything. Simple as that. Thank you, thank you, oh. thank you. Learn no pain. Simple as that. <laughs> Tashinga, do you want to say something? <laughs> She's like laughing like, okay. I'm cool. I'm okay. But you're stereotyping. <laughs> stereotyping. You're stereotyping. You're, you're, you're saying, uh, if you've come across lots of women who do this, Lots. You're saying all women do. Okay, like you said, lots of women. You mm. didn't say if I came, uh, you yeah. know, few. Yeah. You, are, you, are using, you said the you word lots, the fact not that few. Yes, true. Simple true. as that. Yeah. But, but uh, you're stereotyping. We, we work with what? Statistics. If many of them are that, then, all of them then we assume that they are. Or then you when assume. we say, we, we don't assume. That's just how they are. A question. Simple as that. Where's the question? Oh, there's, there's a question there. Okay, uh, anyways, I don't think this is a question. At the same time, I don't know. What I'm going to say is going to make sense or what, but I just have to say something. Anyways, I'm Team Shadaya, and uh, I'm a ghetto girl. <laughs> to every guy in here, these are the ladies you go for. <laughs> these are the ladies you go for. Simple as that. These are the ladies you go for. No, anyway, I'm um, telling you. Anyway, I just want to justify Shinota uh, Rana Shadaya. Anyways, I'm going to be... Uh, and I can speak English, but uh, when it comes to these issues, I don't know if I know you. I don't know if I know you. I don't know The problem in our country, we are trying to adopt the Western culture. Toy, Samunom, would I squat tattoo? Yes, you, you are free to do what you want. But you know, those things they have implications, whether we like it or not. In, in, like, like I said, I come from a, from the ghetto. Do you know the, my mom? Uno pinda bizu she da go nda kubas. Wano kuda zongo ado kufunza something. Hokanoga feka maybe just wearing my leggings. Kuno ku you come to say me life it's normal. Someone is wearing a bum short and it's big body. Sera angwe no one cares. Apana no kuchioka. But if I'm being a downtown, yes, I can see some rude things in the city. So, in a way, when we talk about it, we talk with some people in position. We talk based in their eyes, and yet you are expecting to find a decent man. Actually, I'm back when you are sitting down, so we're not sorry. So what you say? I think the problem with us women, we want to justify sin. I think you have heard the statement from the answer. Kudenga and Mshita kweku Google. That's true. You are dating a married man, everyone knows it is a doubter you are dating a married man. But because I'm taking a motor, because I'm going to be a because I'm going to be a flat, and your life is going to be a spark, then it's okay. Hey, yeah, don't judge us. Yeah, he loves me. But if we were to sit down, never scan, never cut, I wonder, most of them, they regret. They regret life. You're quite sleeping. When you to Dubai, you have followers, 10,000, 100,000 on Instagram. But you some life, Marco. Sometimes I'm not. And this ghetto girl, I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to say, 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 someone is being motivated out there. Mazomona, CEO, Mark Tanga, and for your own information, it's a get a good shrine, it's good to go to my My ladies, and my beer, my yellow bonaya, I've become a post story, yes, they have everything. Thank you. Sorry, you were not a one. No, it's not me. Okay, okay. What do you, th what, what do you think about that, Becky? What she oh, I must, I must say something. What she yes. said, yeah. <laughs> There's a woman supporting Shadaya Knights. 
Okay, first of all, uh, I, and I think I've, I, I've always stood clear about this. I am not against Shadaya. Mm -hmm. I just need to understand, after the information he has given us, as women, or when he says women who are like this are like this, or you'll be taken like this in, in society, what does he then want us to do after that? Because there are some times when I'll read his comments and be like, yeah. mm -hmm. right? And he's telling the truth, and then you adjust accordingly. But then, Anusisiya Tichi bleed up through all the exits, and he doesn't then give a way forward. Off, um, off air, I was actually talking about, who's that guy who, who passed on? Samuels, we spoke about Kevin him. Samuels. Kevin Samuels. Yes. You, you put under Kevin Samuels, you put under Andrew Tate, you put um, Steve Harvey, you put, I don't no, know no, which no, other guys. No, 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 we are not going anyway. No. You uh -uh. do not, no, 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 Shadai, no, if we, no, if we are going you to do not get to put Steve Harvey no. among us, those guys. No. You Let do me not finish my no. point and then yes, you can like, correct Your later. point is already you know failed in itself. No, okay. with your what's examples. wrong with Steve Harvey? Let, no. What's, what's wrong with Steve Harvey? What's wrong with Steve Harvey? Steve Harvey. Yeah. What's wrong with Steve? What's wrong? Yeah. Okay. What's wrong with Steve? <coughs> let me finish and then and then okay, he can respond. Uh, yes, right? All right, so, so let, let him finish so and then okay. he's respond. on that trajectory where he is speaking points about things that are happening in society, pertinent issues that need to be discussed, yep. and he chooses to just shoot and leave people dead. Kevin Samuels would have live calls with women, and they would talk about, no, I met this guy, and this and this and this happened, and Kevin Samuels would tell the girl straight up, why don't you do one, two, three, four with your life? And Andrew Tate, another story. Andrew Tate, another story. Steve Harvey, why I brought him in is because he is point blank with what he talks about. Steve Harvey panders to women. He, he what? He panders to women. Oh, he panders no to women. No man with any self-respect listens to Steve Harvey. Any man with self-respect? <laughs> no, no, no. That, yes. oh, no man with that, any self-respect listens. That can't be true. Yes. That no. can't can't be true. Then, then, no, there is then, nothing, then, there is then, nothing then, manly then, that then, guy then, says. Shadai. He panders to women. Simple as that. Shadai. Okay, he panders Shadai. to women. <laughs> Listen. I want to ask you something. I want yeah. to call you my brother, but this you have lost me. You know, your brother, you're a human being. It's you're okay. not yet a man. It's okay. Do I say you're not yet a you man? Am, yeah. yeah. You know, let's, let's go biblically. Yes, you are a when, man. When the Lord took the rib from a man yes. to make a woman, right? Yes. He left a void in you, right? Yes. And how is that void filled? Fulfilled with a woman in the family. Yes. That's why we have what we okay, call so the four what, Fs. So, okay. Now let me explain no, to you. Okay, no, that's why don't talk. Okay. Don't, don't interrupt Go me. Go ahead. Yes. Hey, I, we, we, it's not a rap battle. Wait. Go ahead. Yeah. What I'm just going to say to you, for you to be a man that is elevated, a man with so much success in life, right, you need a strong woman. And that woman, if she's not able to push you, she's not your woman, right? But if a woman can question you, you want to elevate more. Even through your mistakes, you make them better. So, a woman is very important in your life. I, I really didn't like the way you stated that she can be a demon because she has expressed herself in any way. She, is, she, she might be the most perfect woman in the world. My guy, I'm trying uh, to get your point. Say, okay, yes, I want to reach get to, to my the point. point. Yes. She might be the most perfect person in the world just because she has dressed in a certain way. She's just trying to show that I am my own person. You like it or not. You want to justify people like they're in prison. You want to control women like they're in prison. You are not the, you're, not, you're, not, you're, you're not the prison guard that say, go into this, go into that. Because you are afraid. Because you have mommy issues, my brother. Yeah. Mommy issues. Let me tell you something. You saw your father abuse your mother. Then you thought it was right. Yeah. And your mother was like, yes. Yes, Betty. Yes, Betty. Uh, hey, hey, because your mother never answered. Then you thought Denny it was Jay. right in life. Yeah. Yo, Denny, all right, let, let him respond. Danny J, Yo. Uh, in as much as I came to respond to the people who were going to be asking questions, mm -hmm. I came to respond to intelligent questions, <laughs> not dumb questions. <laughs> Let's pass it. Simple as that. What? I don't have to. <laughs> okay, listen. <laughs> everything. Listen, Shadai. 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 No, Shadai. no, yes thing. But, but he makes, he makes, no, he makes yes thing. Okay. Everything. Is there something uh, yes that you thing. heard from me? Can you, can e you just respond? Everything he said. He gave his own red pill. Yes thing. Yeah. No, you that, don't abuse pill. what we call the red pill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everything. Yes thing. Pill. Yes thing. Danny he, J. He's saying based on. Danny J. Yeah. Danny J. Mm -hmm. I've got what I call um, boundaries, and I've got what I call like limits, and I've got what I call things that I can respond to, mm -hmm. right? And like I told you, I can go back and forth with this woman. Do you know why? 
because she was actually asking questions that are worth replying. But this guy, everything he said, not worth replying. No, but that's his red pill. Simple view. as that. That's dumb. his red No, it's, it's not dumb. But it's not dumb. Let Shada. me tell you something. When Shada. he said Shada. you're Shada. a boy Shada. and he said he was a man, I was like, okay, let me listen. Ah. He's about to say something intelligent. Yeah. Then no, it just went up. No, there. listen, Shad, damn damn off, but you know why you're offended? Damn, you know, damn. you know why you're offended? No, I'm not offended. You're, able, you're offended because I'm not you're able to answer your questions because they're questions anything. that you're able to tackle. Yes, they, you cannot tackle these questions I, how do you because they're touching some, you yes, to your they, life. How do you answer someone saying because your father was abusive, life. this and that? That is your own assumption. Why am I supposed to answer that? That's dumb. Like serious. And you won't he, correct it. Yes, thing. He's a oh, dumb guy. Don't I don't answer <laughs> dumb guy. Simple as that. You don't correct it. Simple as that. You don't correct. No, I don't when, correct when, that. When someone comes um, out. No, I don't reply to that. You don't. Yes, thing. When you're talking to dumb people, it's as good as if you're talking to a child. Mm. No matter what a child says, you don't get worked up over what a child says. You just simply ignore it, mm. which is what I'm doing. Okay. Ignoring it. Okay, shut that. Okay, 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 okay so fine, fine. Move. The situation, remember we passed that, that independent woman. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we did. We get an answer. We never got an answer. He didn't uh, break down okay, what yes, in his words an and independent woman it, is. When you were saying independent women, an independent woman, mm. you were looking at it from a financial perspective only. That, 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 that's right? what it is. Which, is. which is what makes you an independent person. No, no, no. no. Uh, uh, because you, when you are... Independent uh, yes, thing, Jenny J. Yeah. Uh, independent means you are not dependent on anyone, on anything. Not only financially, but in the whole aspect of your life. This woman, if I were to work with her at night, she would expect me to protect her. Is she dependent? For me, I can just simply walk. I'm dependent. I'm independent. Oh, you see, this woman, if she's soul. carrying heavy luggage, she would expect somebody to help her. For me, I'm a man. I would simply no, wait th th the what you've done is So you you've see, expanded. you are yeah, looking you've expanded, you've expanded the definition Which is what wise. we should do. No, no. We should expand no, it. No, no, no. Let's because keep, let's we are now telling there. women that as long as you make money, you are an independent woman. Yeah. Which is wrong. Yeah. Which is wrong. Yeah. No, no, because at the end of the day, because at the end of the day, these women, right, the modern women, right, they are making so much money than their mothers, than their grandmothers ever did. Yet, somehow, some way, they are more miserable than their mothers and their grandmothers. You can check the statistics. This is the generation of miserable? women which is more hooked on antidepressants. Why? Yes, they are making this money. Because at the end of the day, we cannot deny nature itself. A woman needs a man to so, be complete. Simple as that. True, right? A woman needs a man to yes. be complete. Auntie. Yes. The same applies for men. That's why you, I think there's a famous thing that you say about men. All men are polygamous by nature. Yes. Right. So there's this independent woman. I'll put it in quotes because it's quite vast. Independent woman, she's making her money and everything. And then in comes Shadaya, mm -hmm. meets this independent woman. And then independent woman uh, discovers. And, and I, I wouldn't go for an independent well, woman. Why? Yes. That's why? a man. That's like living with another man. So you want someone you can control? No, not control. Someone you can Yes, beat. thing. By someone the way, you, 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 you people, you abuse this word control. Men love to control women. Don't they? Yes, thing. That's, that's, they that's your favorite word. Uh. And then I want to ask you this. At the same time, these women mm -hmm. expect to be protected by men. Yes. Why would you protect something you have no control over? You want to control why would you control why would you try to protect something you have no you know control over you i've got a woman who's wild who just <laughs> does whatever she wants to do but somehow i'm supposed to protect it why should i protect it when i have no control no say whatsoever in here you see you people I mean, contradict yourselves no it, it's not a contradiction per, per se and it, i'm making my money Tasanga, and yes and it, figuratively speaking. right and you, you come into this independent woman's life and you start dating, but then you discover what the to the extent that you would like her. Yes. Atsurike. Eh. Then you leave. Or then you leave. Simple as that. So independent women are difficult to be with? Yes. They're insufferable. Amen. So they must just die miserable. No, I didn't life. say they die. I didn't say they must lonely. die. I'm saying they're insufferable. Okay. I need to, I need to ask something. something. Okay. I need to ask hey, you Andrew, something. Right. Okay. So I, I've got a few points that I, I want to address concerning wh what you've been speaking about. So I might go back to something that you said previously. 
right? <laughs> first of all, the first point I want to bring up is you were talking about women depreciating, saying that, you know, as they age, when they reach their 30s, then they're at zero or whatever. Is it, is it wrong? It is wrong. Okay. And I'm going to speak. I don't know if I'm allowed to... Is this a, a, a no on. under 18? Go, on. go, go. You can say fuck. Yeah, Thank you can you. say fuck. Shit. Thank you. All right. <laughs> they have done studies and have found that a woman's vajayjay actually... Vagina. 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 Yes. Okay. A woman's vagina actually yes. comes to maturity when she's actually in her 40s. Yes. When she is... It's a proven study. They did a study. <laughs> They did a study. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up, oh. guys. Wait. Guys. Yeah, Get up, bro. Yeah, Get up. up. Oh. <laughs> I like, give me chance, guys. Give me chance. Yes. Oh. Okay. Give her a chance, okay. guys. Let's settle okay. down. Let's okay. settle down. Yeah, I'm I, 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 okay. I get your point. It was. Listen. <laughs> to my yes, thing. Listen, listen. Yes, thing. It was. It was yes, a study thing. that was done. And then yes, they thing. found Kuti. Yes, thing. Yes, thing. But, right? But don't you, 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 you don't yeah, we, we don't have to continue <laughs> with that continue. discussion. All we right. don't have to continue with such a discussion. Okay. She has said women in their 40s, their vaginas have what? Matured. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. Like and whiskey. Then, like whiskey. But, like, but now, like fine wine, yes, darling. but now here's a simple, it's a simple research we can do, <laughs> right? We can go anywhere you want and pick a random dude. We put, I'm not trying to be personal, we put you over there and we put an 18-year-old girl over there. And then we ask this man, this man, who are you attracted to? Who do you want? Who do you think that man is going to pick? No, yes, thing. No, 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 no. Because yes, thing. Yes, thing. I want you to know this. I want you to know this. Based on perception. Now I want to get mathematical with you now. I want to get mathematical with you. Right? You say this vagina is matured, right? This is a vagina that is matured. It's 40. Let's assume you are 40, right? And you started having sex around 18 when you were of legal age, right? You had sex, uh, let's say, with two men that year, right? Maybe the other one six months, the other one six months. Uh, you'd meet maybe once a month. You'd do... Um, 10 rounds. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Two rounds. You were doing two rounds with this man. Per each round, 10 strokes. 10 strokes. I'm trying to be... I, I'm trying. Yes, thing. That's like a whole... That's like a I'm, Yes. I'm, okay. I'm trying to... Okay, mileage. you know, I mean, mileage? the I guy, you know, mileage. I'm trying the guy eating it, oh, the yes, strokes. Yes, strokes. Yes, yes, per each round is doing 10, per each round is doing 10, right? Let's get mathematical hey, hey, with you. Those are a few right? strokes, though. Yeah, those are a few strokes. Like yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be lenient. I'm trying to be lenient. No, yes, I want it to be decent. I want to, yes, I want to, to, po to portray you in a decent way. Because you know, because no it's usually 10 rounds, 50 strokes, 100 strokes, I don't know. But I'm trying to be decent, right? Okay. We're going to be mathematical, really. Okay, let's go. Right? Here's the thing. Two guys, right? Mm -hmm. We've got two guys. And she's uh, having how many rounds with these guys? Two rounds. Two rounds. Two rounds. Two rounds. All right? <laughs> two, times, two times two, that's four. Mm. And they're having, what, 10 rounds mm. per each, right? And then we say four, 10 strokes. <laughs> and then we say four times 10. That's 40, mm -hmm. plus another what, 10. Is it, is it so? My mathematics. For, for, that's for one guy. For, 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 for you know, for like, two guys, okay. okay, let's do one guy. Eight. Let's just do one guy. Because one guy times two rounds mm -hmm. equals two. Mm -hmm. And then he's doing what? Uh, two, two rounds. Two rounds. He's, he's doing 10 strokes. Eight. Times <laughs> 10 strokes. Eight. That's 20, Eight. right? Eight. That's 20. <laughs> just one guy. Now, times two, you times, times two, that's 40. One guy, each year, 40. This is 40 times this thing has been hit, in, out, in, out, one year. 
She's 18. So we now 40. We now go, she's 40 years old, right? 40 minus uh, 18 when she started having sex. That's 22 years of what? Sexual experience. Times the 40 we got. 680 times a penis has been inside that thing and you are telling me that it's mature. That is a damaged thing. Simple as that. Simple as that. Okay, it's fine. Simple as that. Simple as that. It's that is okay. And we are assuming that she was only having sex with what? With what? One guy. Okay. One guy for those so 22 in years. In other words, that's a rundown pussy. I couldn't yes. Simple as that. Okay. All right. Okay. No, that's fine. Ah. There's a question. Oh. It's, 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 yes. Okay. Oh, there's, there's, a, a, yes. there's a question. Okay, yeah. And no, no, my question is a clean one, no mathematics, no <laughs> sushis and stuff. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to decide which side I'm on. Am I Team Shadaya or not? Because some things that he says actually make sense. I know. But then some don't. I feel like they're a bit extreme. So I think maybe the podcast, we need another one. Or maybe we should have started with knowing who Shadaya is. What the, like, Didn't how he's back up. He, he, he hardly speaks about his background. Yeah, like because also. it's very hard to understand him. We get it, he's the controversial guy, the social media guy, attacks yeah. Rihanna and them. But, like, where does he come from? Does he have sisters? Was he raised by a mom and a dad? Yes, he was. Are they married? There's a you woman. Know, there's how women in his life. You there's, know? There's, there's, there's women in his life. That oh, trust okay. me, he has an answer for everything. W- would, she wants, yeah. would she want me to, you know, to reply no, to it? No, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Want you, you want to know about my background? No, not yet. Maybe later. Okay. But for now, I just wanted to ask you if you believe that people can change, whether be it a woman or a man. Because earlier you spoke about how people who have multiple baby daddies are stupid. If you enter an abusive relationship, you're silly because you're supposed to have learned that person prior to getting in the relationship or the marriage. Um, what else did you say that I thought was a, a bit off? In other words, your question comes to, Can do people change? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. In this assumption, the people we're talking about are particularly what? Women. Men. We're talking about women. Uh-huh. And men. Okay, and men. women. Okay, women don't change. They ah. just get good at hiding who they really are. Simple as that. And men. Okay. Oh, on, on top of that, do you believe in personal development? Personal development? Yes. Yes, personal development is a, it's a so thing. So if, it's a I, thing. if Pers- I, as a woman, do personal development, and then obviously I'm not going to be the person that I am in the next five years. Yes, thing. Um, when you mention personal development, uh-huh. you women seem to be confused thinking that having a job, having a business, that's what uh, consumes what we call personal development. But... For the majority of you, what you need isn't money. You need to heal. Simple as that. You need to heal. Most of you are damaged. You've got issues. You just need to heal. Simple as that. Is there another question? Yes. Okay. Oh. What is your movement about? What do you? Uh, mm. What is what the do purpose? You stand for? What do you? What do you want to do to the young men? What is the? Okay. The vision. The vision. Okay. <laughs> the vision is this. We simply want young men to realize their worth. Because we are now living in a society that is hell-bent on demonizing masculinity. It's trying to tell these young men, deny your masculinity. It's wrong to be a man. They are trying to feminize these young men. And the message you're trying to send, the message I'm trying to send is to every young man out there. Be proud of being a man. There is nothing wrong with being a man. Be a man. Simple as that. You see, now you talk sense. And then now when you do that other thing that you do, you confuse it. Which thing? When you you bash the the man who are loving and... No. Yes, thing. Uh Yeah, I I love that aspect. Uh Most people, I think they confuse um, the difference between a simp and a loving man. Right. There what's is a actually a difference. It's a thin line. Okay, what's a right? Break it down. A loving man, I'm just giving an example. Okay. I would mm. say um, my elder, mm. Denny J, mm. right? Uh, he has his woman, right? Okay. His wife. She's here? Oh, she's here. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's good, that's good. How are you? Yes. <laughs> Did you see her? Yes. Ah, she's like, mm-hmm. Now, <laughs> now, 
Mrs. Danny Jane has given Danny Jane uh, the best years of her life. She gave, her, she gave him her youth. She gave him her fertility. She gave him kids. She's been supportive. She's been everything mm. you'd want in a woman, mm. right? Mm. And then Mr. Danny J decides, I want to do things for this woman right. that's being loving. He's rewarding this woman for what? Good behavior. Now, what happens with simps? They reward women for literally nothing. You see, that's the difference. A loving man is doing these things from a position of power. A simp is doing these things from a position of weakness. Okay. He's trying to gain favor. He's trying to negotiate desire. He's trying to get into this woman's pants. He's trying to get this woman to accept him. He's trying to get this woman's validation. Mm -hmm. But now, when you're a loving man, you're simply rewarding this beautiful woman for, good, for being a good woman. Being a good woman. Simple as that. Okay, so there's a loving man and then there's a simp. There's a simp. Of which the simps are what you talk about a lot. Wait, now, the majority of guys we have okay. are simps. Majority. Majority of guys we have are simps. That is why you see we have a problem with our women misbehaving. It all comes down to the men. How when men are incompetent, mm -hmm. we get degenerate women. Simple as that. But when we have strong men, we get what? Good quality women. Now we've got women who know that, yes, I can have two baby daddies, three baby daddies, I'll still be married. Mm -hmm. I can have a sex step. I'll still be married. I can do this. I can still be married because there's a simp out there waiting to reward me because I'm simply a woman. But if we have strong men who say, if you make the mistake of, you know, being a single mother, mm -hmm. you're, going not to, you're not going to be the first pick. Women are going to be have. They're going to be very careful. You see? If we have men who say that, if you end up having a sex step, you're not going to be the first preference. Women are not going to be doing that. So you see? Now sounds like a competition. So at the end of the day, weak men mm. are the problem we have right now with these women. And that's the problem that you have. And we have a majority weak of weak men in today's society. That's the problem. Okay. <laughs> Heard you on that one. Okay. We, 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 we then look at how you, you speak about... Uh, how things should be handled in a relationship, the man being the yes. head and, yes. and all of that. Mm -hmm. Is there a point where you are going to be lenient with the requirements of the woman? There's a post, I'm trying to remember it, um, word for word, okay. where you spoke about uh, such women need to be like this, women like this are like that. Um, I'm trying to remember the post, man. And yeah, you, where you, 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 you described a scenario about a woman who behaves in a certain way, she's a whore. A woman who's like this, like this, needs to be punished. And then you, you don't describe what punished is in, in, in terms of, of punishment. Okay. Oh, you, you, you want the examples of punish. Yes. By the way, let me make it clear. When we say punish, we don't mean, uh, you know, physically abuse women. Okay. No, we don't uh, advocate for that. We don't advocate for that. Okay. So let's say you've got your woman. She cheated on you. Mm -hmm. You punish her. How do you punish her? You simply leave her. Simple as that. You don't beat her. You don't try to make an issue out of it. Ah, you know, making noise, making an issue out of it. You simply walk away. You get to understand it. You've got Shall a woman who's nagging you. Shall your I woman. Quick, uh, quick question. Okay. Where are I hear you oh, talking okay. about weak men, right? Yes. Do you think weak men can change for the better? And how do you think they have to do for them to get better? Okay. Yep. Weak men, I do believe, they have a chance. They have a slight chance that they can change. And the only way they can change is this. They need to do two things. Number one, embrace being a man. Number two, accept the harsh nature of women. Simple as that. Many men are in denial of these two things. Mm, they try to share away from being men. And they try to share away from the true nature of women. They believe that women are angels. Women are just humans like us. They are flaws as well. Mm. You see? But there's more grace for the man than but, there is for a woman. But apparently these men, they are oblivious to that. They don't see that. 
That is the problem we have. And I think it comes from the, how do I say, the idolization of the mother. In today's society, we've idolized mothers. Mothers are like gods. Mm. Yes. Anyway, any movie you're watching, any book you're reading, the mother is described like a goddess. She's just a human being. Do they do the same about fathers as well? Fathers do a lot of things, but are they idolized in that way? Why do you think we celebrate Mother's Day more than Father's Day? Why? Yeah, Father's Day is actually like a minute somewhere way down there. You see, oh. that is the thing. Now, when you idolize mothers, these guys, they grow up thinking that every other woman they are going to interact with going to be like my is going to be like your mother, which is wrong. And that's how they end up in these situations. So w would it be fair to say it's a dog eat dog out there? Because women are being told other things where they go. And then there's Shadaya with his Leno Perish. Yes, thing. Uh, what we have to do, we have to come to, to a place, to a consensus where we get to get to talk about these issues and realize that our society is in a bad state, right? We need to have dialogue whereby the fathers, the mothers, the grandfathers, the grandmothers, they pass on this knowledge to the younger generation. But there is a gap. There is a gap there. Now, this younger generation is being influenced by who? Netflix, mainstream media, social media. That is why we have this problem. If the guys, the younger guys, were to talk with their fathers, if they don't have fathers, if they were to talk with their grandfathers, with any other father figures, they would have this knowledge. If the women were to have a relationship with their aunties, their mothers, their grandmothers, they would also have this knowledge. Yeah. That's the problem we have today. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, professor Shadaya. Yeah. Um, professor. Yeah, the, the professor. Salt of the earth. Professor, <laughs> why my wura gaonda chiruorwa, but must tread my koso as as kitchen. That that is a very that is a very very interesting question, mm. right? The thing, about, <laughs> the thing about the thing about horse the thing about horse I want you to know this I may not like them I may not like them but horse have mastered the art of trapping men of deception deception also they have mastered the art they win them out yes of goodwill they don't win good them favor. out of goodwill okay. you'd find that most of these guys who end up marrying these wayward women five years down the line they usually start to complain about these women because these women have what, what we call the bait and switch. Recently, I'm not going to mention any name. There was a known uh, social media hall. Hi. Yes. She would always parade herself in Turkey, Cyprus, doing whatever she was doing with other influencer guys, being uh, sold to the biggest bidders, the blessers <laughs> and stuff. Suddenly, I was shocked. I think that was about three months ago. I saw verses on his social media. Scripture. Yes, scriptures. Okay. Yes. She's going to the church now with cameras on. She's on her knees. Mm. She's kneeling. She's praying the Lord. She's talking in tongues, mm. everything. Mm. Then, recently, yesterday, I bumped into this picture now. Apparently, there's a man of God in her life. Oh They're in a relationship together. Mm. Right? Mm. And this man of God, in his naivety, he actually believes she has changed. You see, that is what whores have mastered. The bait and switch. Okay. Simple as that. I catch you and then I switch into your environment. Yes. To suit. I think that's okay. clever. All right. I, I, want, I, want, I want to come back to real life now. Right? Um, um, you, you tweeted something about the Olinda uh, Stana Titan situation. What is your take with regards to that whole situation. I think I'll call it that. Uh, my take to that whole situation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is what happens when men refuse to be men. Okay. This is what happens. And to be honest, in as much as I may have issues with the way that woman is handling that situation, mm. I would say to a certain extent, I do support her. Gotta give it to do you I know why? You like Do you know why? why? When men 
refuse to be men. When men become when foolish, when men become lazy. As a woman, if you've got such a man, do whatever you can. Embarrass him in the highest way you can. Simple as that. Because... bait and switch. No, because here's the thing. Those two guys, we've got the other one, he doesn't want to work. And the other one as well, he doesn't want to work. So they both don't want to work. Yes. Right. They want to live off a woman. Right. And so this woman is like, I'm going to show you. They want to live, you know, off a woman. Already they are going against what? Nature itself. Yes. A man is what? A provider. The head, yes. Yes. The now, how do you expect your woman to respect you when you go to him and say, can I have money? I want to buy pants. Can I have money? I want to buy a deodorant. Can I have money? I want to buy this. In a way, this woman has adopted you. You are now his child. She's your mother. Yes. And your mother can treat you any how she wants. Simple as that. <laughs> okay, okay. And, um, all right. Um, Are you answered, Danny? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you cool. I'm good. You cool. Okay. <laughs> and then, uh, what, what's your take on celebrities um, endorsing uh, political parties? You saw uh, Holy Ten and Kiki Badass and, and all these guys um, um, endorsing uh, the ruling party. What yes. is your take on, on, on uh, artists um, endorsing political parties? My take on artists endorsing political parties. Okay. Take it from this. Are they doing it out of their own goodwill or they are doing it out of hunger? Which is which? Okay. Is that a shot? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to, to understand. Yeah. <laughs> no, this isn't to provoke so do, anyone. Do, so do you, do you have a problem with um, uh, Holy Ten saying, uh, I support the ruling party? For me, to be honest... At this do you think it's a, it's a good idea? Before we go any further, for yeah. me, to, at, the, at this stage, you know, I can't be talking about Holy Ten, to be honest. Why is that? I'm pushing 40. I turn 30. I'm pushing 40. Right. I can't be talking about a child. Ooh. Simple as that. Okay, but this child, this child is doing big things locally. He's like a, he's like a poster boy for hip-hop. My guy, like I said, no comment on kids. Simple as that. <laughs> no comment on kids. Yes. Uh, okay, all right, okay. So, so there's no answer coming from there. No. Uh, okay. What the, what other one did I have? Mm. Mm? Oh, uh, no, uh, your okay. Are <laughs> okay. Okay. So you're not you're not doing kids now, right? Let, let's talk uh, about uh, uh, Rihanna and ASAP. The, that situation. Um, what, what what did you mean when you tweeted what you tweeted? And I, I know it went viral. Uh, worldwide. Yeah. Yeah. It went viral because it's it's something that provoked people, but it was the truth. That picture symbolize something. It was meant to symbolize something. Mm. The woman was in front, right? And she was holding the man's hand mm. and the man was carrying the baby. Also this was it, the so symbol. It wasn't it, just a picture. Uh, no, it wasn't just a picture. That's the thing with media. Mm. Nothing is ever what it seems, mm. right? The, the message being sent right there is this. This is the new thing. This is how society works now. Women lead men follow mm -hmm. you see yeah. and it is very wrong because we are going against nature we will now tend to have these conflicts everything else that is happening it stems from that mm -hmm. when men fail to take their positions of being leaders and women fail to take their positions of being what the helpers mm -hmm. we have this mess we have C can't it just be a picture it can never be just a picture with Hollywood. So, so I, I can't, I can't have a picture where my wife is in front. I can never. You have can a have picture. it because you are actually doing it. You know, it's just a picture for you. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to those things, that was Vogue, by the way. Mm -hmm. Vogue, everything they put on the cover, it's a message being sent. That is why you see uh, the previous editions there. That fat woman, um, Lizzo, 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 there, Lizzo. and. Mm -hmm. She was dressed in plus a big size. Yes, she was the plus size woman. Uh, no, <laughs> the fat woman. <laughs> she was dressed in a bikini. Okay. In a bikini. Why would a fat woman be dressed in a bikini? So fat they were women, trying to say that she's women, sexy. Fat women can't dress in bikini. They're disgusting. Ish. They should wear white. 
I want to go to the beach. I'm a fat woman. What cover do I wear? Yourself. Cover yourself. I must. Yes, cover yourself. You're disca it's disgusting. It's disgusting. Yes. Okay. Simple as that. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh, yeah. Is there a reason why people wear skimpy stuff when they go swimming? Or they, they can wear overalls to go. No, that that is the attire you know you wear, the costume you wear when you're going to the beach, so which fat, is okay. Fat people are excluded. Yes, it's disgusting. You know it as well. It's disgusting. <laughs> I know it as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. Say it, Danny. Say we have it. A question. I have a question. Wait, wait. Okay, there. Finally, the book is open. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. This open. actually came now. Oh, uh, okay. Listening to him speak. So Becky had touched a little bit, saying, "What are the ways we could uh, Shadaya could give women help instead of dragging us through the mud?" Hold on. So you had touched on a lot of saying fatherless behavior. Da 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 da. So as you know. You can tell there's a lot of single parented homes, right? And there's a lot of mother headed single homes, right? So a lot of people can't afford, like after the fact, you know, once you're old enough, you got a job, whatever life is going to, go to therapy, to talk through your daddy issues or whatever it may be. Okay, so those, my question is for people who don't have access to that kind of luxury, how can they? Uh, work heal. through or he work through or, or heal their fatherless or daddy issues. That's my question. Okay, here's the thing. Uh, I do believe that as Africans, we've got what we call the extended family unit, right? We are different from the Europeans or the yeah. Western ones. They've got what we call the nuclear family units, just you and your family, your immediate family. That, yeah. For us, we've got the extended family unit. Why aren't you trying to connect, you know, with your relatives? If it's f daddy issues, yeah. you've got other father figures, try to connect with them. Can if I interject quickly? It's okay. So, like I'm saying, you are raised by your mom. Raised. And it's mama and gogo. Mm -hmm. There's hardly any uncles in the picture. By the if way, we can be I want to answer you. Do you know the reason why most of you end up having to be raised in such situations where it's just you, um, your mama, and your gogo. Yeah. Because of your mothers. Most of the times your mothers tend to be bitter or tend to be suspicious of your, you know, paternal relatives, Alrighty. which is wrong, and they're destroying you. I can give you that. Which is wrong. So, not to put my business on front street. Yes. So, I come from an abusive home. Right. How do you know you come from an abusive home? I, w I witnessed my father beating my mother and us. By the way, so by the way, we're on camera, right? Yeah. You witnessed your father beating your mother. Yes, first time. Was, was he beating or were they fighting? He beat her and us to a pulp. Okay. At one point. Yeah. Well, one incident. So yes. obviously, you know, you run away, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. That's not important. So I'm saying for girls, I had the luxury of going to therapy. Don't get it twisted. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying to girls that don't, that are in that predicament, and even sometimes boys, you know, they also, yes. they're men, sorry, males, mm -hmm. they also don't have that luxury. So I'm asking how can people, be, can they best navigate Where from such no a fatherless situation? Mm. Are there no immediate relatives? Of who? The paternal side or any, even from the maternal My side. Was a only are there no, you know, male figures there? No. There are no. You don't have uh, any male figures in your life other than, you know, your, it's your, your father. It's a very closed family. But I'm saying I had the luxury of therapy and all those good things. But I'm saying to the women that don't, they don't have anywhere, any male figures to turn to. They don't have money to go to therapy, those kind of things. Okay. In the Becky, most the obtuse <laughs> situation. So they don't have access to any of these things. I'm famous. Then they start dating men like they met their fathers, right? Okay, so the, the, the storyline is um, mother's only child. All right. Abusive marriage. And yes. mother says, e, let me go with my children yes. before we die. Yes. Um, granny says, come, let yes. me, let's, let's stay together. And I'm saying, this granny, you know, from the I'm mother's side. One one. No, one one. but yes, this granny, mm -hmm. doesn't she have any male, you know, male relatives herself? Kupi. 
They are guys, abroad. we're not talking about hypothetical situations, no, you know. Because no, at the end of not, the day, each and every one of you, you've got relatives. You can't tell me that there's a person in here who doesn't hey, have relatives. Radical, but maybe, male relatives, by maybe, the way. Maybe a partner is maybe a partner. male. Hey, maybe a partner is solid male relative to look up to in that situation. Tough luck. To that. So, okay. So, so that one is a tough luck, sort of. Uh, a tough luck situation. There's nothing we can do about it. Okay. No, truly there's uh, nothing. Yes. Like I, see, I see, I see, I uh, see Nash and Rex are, are flagging us. We've been here for too long, guys. I mean, we, <laughs> this, this is going to last a lifetime. We need to get okay. to a common ground with Shadaya okay. because right. as most people have clearly said, I don't think there's anyone who can really lift their hand in this room right now and say, Shadaya, we bend the way we are with Aribo. Ah. And it. So there's things that you say that people are like, mm -hmm, chokwadi, at least someone said it. it then there's some things that you're like, mm. The things they say no are things that, you know, are personal, that provoke them. That provoke but them. But it's still the truth. Okay. The and truth is supposed to make you bitter. It's supposed to, to make, make you, you better. better. All right, cool. Um, she raised the question then. Yes. And she said, what's the end goal? What are you doing? I, is it just a social media thing? You're it's never, you it's, it's not to provoke people's minds? I don't, I don't like, even on, do it to provoke people. Be, I'm actually trying to help better. people. You're trying to yes, fix the country. You're we're trying to, to fix, fix the, the country. country. Yes. Yes, thing. Okay. Let's say, for example, we're going back to the start of the show. Okay. We're telling you, these are the traits of a damaged woman or how men perceive you to be damaged. Mm -hmm. Seriously. If you're a person with, you know, logic in your head, mm. you're going to do the opposite of that if you don't want people to portray you that. Okay. Do I have to go also and spell it out? So don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. No, I'm simply highlighting to you how people, you know, perceive things. If it's something <laughs> looks like this, people are going to perceive it is this. Mm. So you do the opposite. Mm. Are you now trying to tell me these women are dumb enough that they want me to, tell, to literally tell them, do this, do this, do this, do this. I don't think it's a dumbness. But it's what? People learn differently. But it's what? You just by when we you bash say, single mothers, you, yeah. as a woman, you, and you are not yet a young woman, and you are not yet a single mother, you are now supposed to do everything in your power to try not to avoid such a situation. A single, because Shadaya will right? bash you. And you now, as a single mother, mm. right, you're listening to Shadaya, and uh -huh. apparently is bashing these single women. Right. Right? For their what? Unrealistic standards. Mm. You are now supposed to be what? To come in touch with reality. Kuti, wh wh whoever comes to get me. You get. <laughs> Simply as that. Okay. You but, see? but you still, you still right. haven't answered uh. her question because she uh. said the woman has got no male relatives. And the tough luck. Like we said, that is tough so, luck situation. So it's tough luck yes, situation. It happens and, in and life. It's tough luck situation. It, that yeah. And then it's, the women It's a tough luck situation. Abused. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. You want us to understand these things from a woman's perspective, the problems women face and stuff. I can go on, right? I'll always give this equation, like, the most, um, how do I say it, unwanted men to women mm. is a broke man, right? A broke man. Yes, they, okay. don't, like, they don't like a broke man, mm. right? Mm. But now here's the thing. Do these women ever give or ever try to understand why is this man broke? Yet we are supposed to understand why is this woman damaged? Why is this woman a single mother? Why is this woman in such a situation? Mm, mm. If you as a guy, you are broke, <laughs> that's the only thing that made us, you are a broke dude. But here's the thing, broke. we yeah, don't, oh, yes, nobody cares why you are broke. Okay. Maybe your father was also a broke dude. <laughs> he didn't leave anything it's for you. In the family. Yes. Your father didn't leave anything for you. Mm -hmm. But people expect you to make miracles and be rich. Maybe somehow, in a certain country you lived, uh, the you know, f financial policies were so bad, they wiped away all your savings, and you ended up what? A broke dude. Mm. You see? Maybe you made some bad investments, and you ended up what? A broke dude. But nobody cares to listen to your story, because what matters is this. You are a broke dude. Okay. You see? So they must make money. Yeah. Okay. They must make money. Mm. That right. is the same scenario we simply yeah. apply to you as a woman. Okay. If you're damaged, we don't care to know why you're damaged. Okay, Nash. You're damaged. All right, okay, Shadai. I think we'll take a question. Uh, Pablo want to, wants to ask something. Okay. And then I think we have to wrap up now. They have to pay the bills. They oh need good. people to come and oh buy good. liquor. Yes. And, and do what they do with Pablo. Yes. You know what I mean? Loose, so, uh, yes. Loose women got to make money. We got, yes. We got, oh. <laughs> yes. 
We yes. need to wrap up. Pablo's. Yes. Look, Pablo's is a question. I, I, I respect some of his opinions. Yeah. But at the end of like the day, it's opinions. Uh, right? Yeah. He's a young man. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how much experience he has in life. I cannot judge him. You know, I can only respect his opinion. Right. And some of the opinion is correct. Some of the opinion we can not agree. So I'm not here to, God forbid, to disrespect him. Right. But I know one thing in life. I'm 53. Right? I have lots of experience. Some of them good, some of them bad. Till today, I don't know what is the right way. You know, you learn from mistake. A clever man knows how to rectify it and move on. Yeah. Right? And so you cannot mistake. call someone that, or a woman, especially a woman, that make a mistake, she's a nobody. You know, and she's a damaged good. Yeah. It's, I, I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair to call a woman that, you know, criticize her. Who are we to criticize our friends or anyone else. We can just give them opinion based on our knowledge, but it's also no guarantee that our knowledge is the right one. Oh. So I, my question to you, what gives you the qualification to call a woman you are damaged goods or you are the right one based on her appearance? What gives uh, most of these women the authority to call men broke men who are actually maybe even doing better than them. Because you now find yourself in a situation. <laughs> no, let's be honest. You find yourself in a situation whereby women who actually, what? Still sleep, still live at their father's houses. They are calling another guy who's living at his parents' house broke. Aren't you the same? Facts. You've got a woman who's using public transport mm. and she's actually saying, I wouldn't date a guy who uses public transport. Yeah, He's yeah. a broke. Mm. Facts. You see? Facts. Mm. That's the thing. You've got women who say that um, for me, when I go to a club, right, I expect a guy to buy me this, this and that, this and that. But they cannot buy this very same thing for themselves. Facts. Aren't they broke? Mm-hmm. But they are the ones who go around shaming men, calling them what? Brokies, broke men, broke men, broke men. Mm-hmm. So you see, it's not about who has the right it's just to just that. Opinion. That's just how life is. Okay. Should I? Simple as that. All I wanted to say, like, I come from a family of six girls and a boy. I have a son and a daughter as well. And your opinion will change once you give birth to a baby girl. And you want the very best for her in this society that's very misogynistic and this patriarchal society. You'd want the best for her. You'd want her to be the best of who she is, right? This society isn't uh, patriarchal. It's actually it matriarchal. Is. By the way. Do you think How is it matriarchal? Because here's How thing. is it matriarchal? Do you know what? What, what this makes this society a matriarchal a, yeah, okay. society? Let me explain this when to you. When men choose thing. how women should behave, you social condition women to behave a certain way, to look a certain way, to please men. How is that a matriarchal society? You tell me. How is it in any way there's never been a female president? The only country that's that's had a female president was Liberia, and right now it's Tanzania. And how is this a matriarchal society? Okay. Okay. Publish this. So at the end of the day, when you do give birth to a daughter, can I answer to that? Yeah. Okay. Let's just opinions will change. Can I answer to that? Let's just answer that one quickly. Okay. Uh, Rex, we know that we've uh, gone past time. Nash, uh, let's just do. Three minutes max. Three minutes max. To do, it's okay. okay. Three Number minutes. one. Three minutes I want max to take we'll points. And then I think we'll do a, a Shadai part three <laughs> at episode uh, fif- uh, 100. Episode 100. <laughs> episode 100. <laughs> episode 100. <laughs> <laughs> okay. for you after episode 100. Episode 100. So you look for me after 50 episodes. Yeah. 50 yeah. more episodes, yeah. Yeah, I think. All right. Anyways. Okay, yeah, please. Anyways, please wait, I want to answer to some of the key points you raised. Right. She talked about... Um, We've had very, very, very few female what presidents, mm. female leaders. Yep. Now, here's the thing. It is very simple. It's not because it's a patriarchal society, but it is because of you women. Women hate supporting other women. That's the truth. Right now, I can tell you this. When you have a female boss, you have an issue with her. But when you have a male boss, you don't have issues with her. Because I can... Here's the thing. Why do you think that... Why do you think that... Why do you think that... For some reason, people tend to talk about men's football more than women's football. Recently, the FIFA Women's World Cup was being broadcasted. I saw none, no woman commenting about it. But as soon as the Premier League kicked off, 
I found women. Oh, if if Manchester Manchester United loses, I'm posting my notes. If Ninge this is, I'm doing this. You see, you don't even support your own things. Yet, for some reason, you want to blame men for the reason why you're not successful. When it comes to the movies, when it comes to the movies themselves, when it comes to the movies, do you know this? When it comes to the movies themselves, you don't go and watch the movies that actually what portray uh, female females in what in lead roles you don't maybe with the exception of barbie with the exception of barbie but the majority of them you don't watch you rex, see? Yes. rex i'm trying you see? bro i'm trying then, to end the show i then, just got one yes thing I got one. i'm being honest with you okay you see <laughs> guys we have women to we have don't to support show. each other simple okay. as that all right i okay. just have one three minutes to three minutes then, is done uh no, if we're done, we're done. We're done, we're done, right? Uh, yeah. Guys, uh, if we continue past episode 50, Shadaya episode... Uh, 100. Three, episode 100, if we're still here. Thank you guys for coming out. Yeah. God bless you. Good night. Becky K, anything else? I just want to say, Shadaya, where's your girlfriend? <laughs> where's my girlfriend? I think she's, uh, she's at home. I'll just assume she's at home. Yes. I'll assume she's at home. You assume she's at home. You, you yes. assume. Yeah. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us for the episode with Shadaya as our guest. Episode 50. It's been fun. It's been real. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment, and share and this. Yeah, and, and special shout out to Pablo and yes, Pablo Pablo and, and DJ Rex. They made, uh, they made space for us to come out here and be uptown. Mad love uh, every Friday, Saturday. Pablo's rocks like crazy. Sunday, the Sunday sushi. You guys must come through and support because they support the Danny J Show. Yes, they do. All right, guys. Now it's about to Take be care. lit. Deep, 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 deep,